extra companies. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Just take it. Ah, we're gonna make it we are not free. I'm going to show you what of the professionalist, Somali professionalist, are out of the country. And I believe that all these people have to give back to their community in Somalia, their experience and their uh, professions to help them. I'm a doctor, a medical doctor, and I myself thought, what can you do in this reality? And I thought that this is the only thing I know about it is uh, about, the, uh, about the health services. And I started doing that and uh, trying to build uh, outpatient clinic, first of all, with a laboratory uh, and uh, health clinics and uh, health posts with uh, a kind of uh, ultrasound multidisciplinary center and I started with that and then after three years we started building the hospital mainly for gynecology and obstetric and uh, pediatric surgery and uh, a surgical unit because we need it. I couldn't believe that the some of the uh, problems that the Somali women have uh, was so serious and tragic. And that's, I mean, the problem of the female genital mutilation, which is really tremendous thing. You see, 99, in an um, epidemiological study we have done in high schools and uh, uh, the last year of the primary school, we have seen that the almost 99% of the Somali young female are infibulated. What is the origin of, of, of this whole you know, female um, genital mutilation? What was the origin of it? I, I believe that the, after that, I thought about it, and I think it's uh, related mainly uh, the the desire of the man, mm -hmm. the male, I mean, of men, uh, to control the, the <laughs> sexuality of the woman. Marna ke gil gilan kani wahawiya day in the school ay hai hag adun ya hag kiran hasabt ini chido. There is a, a lot of complication related with this. Mainly, I I I, I used to say always that every woman of the world have dreams. Mm -hmm. The woman dreams more than men. And they're very romantic, you know that. And uh, one of the things they dream is, uh, the first dream they have is uh, having the menstruation. The first period of the cycle. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be a tragedy to the lady, the young lady who have been infibulated. Mm -hmm. One other dream they have is the uh, going in love, to having, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. getting in, in, in love with someone mm -hmm. and having intercourse yes. and that is another tragedy. Yes. Another one is the last, having a baby. Hospital hospital referral or male Somalia uh, are there any core people, people who you think are very significant to the whole campaign, who you, who you need on board? Any, any person who can really feel and can understand the, as I, 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 I insist to say, of the, the Somali reality, because the Somali reality is special today, as you know. And, uh, of course, the Somali community can really make this idea uh, their own project 
and even bring to the community in which they live with, a hosting them. How about the, the financial resources needed? How, how vital now, is that? That is very important because I told you that you see um, these people, especially the fistula academic or the awareness or advocacy of this problem, needs a lot of human resources, knowledge, and uh, financial resources, no doubt. 